Well, I'm here with Mark Kaplan, my good old friend, my uh, former uh, hooker in the sense of playing rugby league, of course. And uh, mate, thanks for having me on here, firstly, even though I'm, I'll be chatting to you. It's an honour to be associated with an extreme athlete, as you yeah. are. Thank you very much for wearing your shirt today. I didn't recognise you. Um, <laughs> very good. <laughs> tell us about the gym, mate. I'm, I'm really excited about it. Yeah, mate, my brother and I, are, uh, we've been involved in the fitness industry now for 10, 15 years, and we're, uh, we're opening a gym in the Shire in November. We're really looking forward to that. It's, uh, we, we basically want to help people get in the best shape of their life through, um, through personal training and also access to the gym. Yeah, the thing I like about your cap, though, apart from your extraordinary good looks, you would agree, um, is that you take a holistic approach. Uh, it's just not about losing weight. It's, it's about a person's life, even flowing into them valuing themselves and how that affects actually the whole process of, yeah. of you know, feeling yeah. good about yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've noticed you've used the word gym a couple of times and that's okay, but I, I sort of don't like the word gym because to me it implies, you know, you come in, you get signed up and then you're left to your own device. So what we want to do at Tribe is we want people to come into our family, hence Tribe Social Fitness, and be part of it long term where they are never, ever forgotten about. So you know, we've got a lot of programs from Fit Club to our focus, which will make or ensure people get fantastic results. And more importantly, you know, get them at affordable prices because I think there's a lot of people out there that generally might not want to spend the big bucks on personal mm. training, but I don't think, I also think there's a lot of people that don't want to be part of the cattle at big, big gym. So my brother and I, uh, we've sort of, at Tribe, we've found the answer to that middle ground. Yeah, so we're, we're really looking forward to it. So, I mean, you're a local boy. We, we played together at, at the Sharks. Um, you, yeah. you played a number of, was it a number of games or was it just one? Was it? Mate. <laughs> was it one first grade? It's actually one and a so. half, big fella. He's <laughs> up. <laughs> Dean Treaster would get injured, he'd break his leg and he'd play the next week. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, mate, you were a very good competitor and uh, we almost won that game that you played, which yeah, was a good, yeah, if you yeah. didn't knock on. And, <laughs> <the last. laughs> mate, no. I'm pretty sure Jennifer Hawkins was on the sideline doing the pom-poms that day. That's why I knocked on from dummy half. It was in Newcastle, just for those who, who watch this, for the whole five people that watch this. Um, <laughs> it was in, in Newcastle, I remember running out and yes, there was Jennifer Hawkins and I, was, I remember that. The Sharks chaplain came up to me, George Capsis, and he said, Jason, stay focused, stay, stay focused, because he knew I had a soft spot for her. Um, yeah. And it's fair to say she was probably checking me out as well. Potentially. <laughs> well, no, you know, who knows? She could have been looking over the, the Matt Damon way as well. Like, but, what do you reckon? Uh, but look, we almost won that game, but Peach, anyhow, he, in that lay in a brain snap, I still remember Johnny yeah. Lang on the sideline had his water bottle. <laughs> I won't say what he said, but there was a few yeah. words, a few expletives. <laughs> that, tell me, okay. I'm a person out there, I, want to, I do want to lose weight. Yep. Um, from a person myself who, I was quite a big kid when I was younger and went on many diets, mm. uh, fluctuated up and down. Mm. I'd go good for two months, then have a mm. week of binging chocolate and, and so forth. Mm. What, kind of, what are the kind of tips you give for people to break yeah. through and really live the life they want? That's a really good question. If you had have asked me that 10 years ago, I would have probably bored you to death with a certain diet or this is, this is the type of weight training that you need to be doing and this is the type of high intensity or low intensity cardio that you need to be doing. But really, to have what you're asking here, what it all boils down to is, is influence and, and who you're hanging around. Because I'm not sure if a lot of people out there actually understand, but you become who you hang around. Mm. So what we want to do at Tribe, and the reason we've called it Tribe Social Fitness, is we want to build a tribe of people who are on a like-minded journey helping each other along the way, hanging around each other, you know, looking toward more positive habits of, of health. Mm. You know what it's like if you, uh, y you see it all the time, like the boyfriend and the girlfriend, you know, they're dating each other and then all is going well and they might move in to with, e with each other six months down the track or whatever. And let's say, for example, he's out of shape and she's not. Yes. You can get six months down the track even further and all of a sudden she's whacked on five or six kilos. So my biggest thing is I ask people to have a look who they're hanging around and try and you know, I'm not saying cull the friends that are on the, on the beers every night or the chocolate or whatever it might be, but yes. just, just try and improve that. that yeah, influence. look at that area of, of your life. It's, it's, it's so true. I know uh, so many business people mm. and who I've spoken to, and I, one of the biggest reasons for their success mm. is that they started to hang around. You know, the mm. whole, if I can include the Bible saying of uh, iron sharpens iron. Yep. So that people who you, you hang around are definitely going to shape yeah. your future. There's, there's just, it's, there's no ways about it. 
Well, Cabo, there are heaps of gyms in the area. Why should I give my money to you? Mate, because my brother and I, we sat down about a year ago and we sort of asked ourselves the question, how can we give people personal training-like results, get them in the best shape of their life without having to spend the big bucks on personal training and not really have to feel like they're in a big, big, busy, busy gym? So we have, we've taken the best things about personal training, which is accountability, education, as well as the service. Plus, we've grabbed the best things from, you know, the bigger gyms, which I would have to say is definitely the facility and the group exercise, and we've, we've moulded it into one, Tribe Social Fitness. So that, as I said, people can get in the best shape of their life for very affordable prices. And the other thing about the whole social thing, a lot of people have said, Mark, what's this Tribe, mm, so why not just call it Tribe Fitness? And the social part's a really important aspect. One is we want people to be part of a family so they have a long journey or a, a consistent journey to be part of, right? So they come in and they look forward to, to coming along. You know, you, you enjoy having a coffee with your mate. And what is it about that that you enjoy? I, the fact that he pays more often for my, <laughs> for com, for my company. So this That's is fine. different because I'd be paying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it's, it's a fun, social. You know? We all want to belong. I think yeah. that's the thing. We want to belong and know that we're valued. And yep. if you can incorporate it, I've got to say, so, some of the some of the bigger gyms, mm. it's it's you don't get that. You actually, mm. you don't get that. You're more of a a, a number rather than yeah. than being connected to a, a family type thing. Yeah, which, like, which sounds great. We, my brother and I, we sort of we want to make it a place where our mum would feel comfortable coming along. You know, and she probably wouldn't go into a big, busy, busy, busy gym. So there's definitely that aspect. The other aspect of social is. It's really exciting. You put your excited face on for me. Well, I can't help but think that you're going to charge your mum to get in your own gym. But anyway, that's another. That's another <laughs> we're building. We're actually building a, uh, a social media platform within Tribe, oh. so our members can have an interaction online to uh, support each other, help each other along the journey of health and fitness long term. So, for example, there'll be the function of this social media platform uh, at Tribe, whereby. If somebody wants to book into a spin class, which they can with our with our health club, they can actually book online to secure their spot. That's fantastic. But they can also share that invite with their friends. You know what I mean? A little bit like Facebook. Yep. yep. Um, and their friends can grab on and jump in and and also be part of that spin class together. Tribe, family, culture. That whole thing is something we really want to create. So this whole social thing, you know, we've got this guru building a social media platform for us, and it's really exciting. No one ever, no one in the fitness industry is actually doing it in the world. In the world, this the is world. worldwide. This is world's exclusive. a big place. <laughs> it, is. it is. You think they're big? The world's even bigger. <laughs> well, Cabo, we've had a bit of fun, but when it comes down to it, you want to help people achieve their long-term goals. A hundred percent. You know, like Tribe Social Fitness, it's not just about having a fun place to come to. And people that are investing into our club, they're paying money. You know, they want to get a result. So we're massive and very have a, a very big focus on, on helping people achieve the body that they want to achieve through our fit club, our focus, our nutrition programs. All of our members actually get access to our online nutrition program where there's 10,000 foods that they can access. All they need to do is jump on, put their name in, a few details of the program, and it'll tell them exactly how many calories per day they should be having, which is a really good tool to have. And generally, you only get that when you maybe pay for the service of a personal trainer or go and see a dietitian. We oh, want to. Absolutely, yeah. We just want to give that to all of our members as a you know as a gift more more, more than anything else, just to to get them the results. I'm a little bit obsessed with the whole result thing. I want to make sure that you know people are getting them. That's why we have a no results no pay thing. So if you're not getting results, we'll give you your money back, no drama at all. Mate, that's unreal. Mm. Well, speaking about for those who don't have a partner, I love the social aspect of this because hey, mm. a gym is a great place. Yeah. To well, find your partner. <laughs> no, it's true because we're actually so also, true. We're also going to be doing quarterly breakfasts as well as quarterly social nights. That's, That's really good. That's a massive good. part of it, you know. There's people out there that, of course, social's important, but um, they might not want to meet someone on a treadmill while this person's sweating, you know what I mean? Mm, mm. So my brother and I, we want to actually create an environment where people can relax and have fun and, and be part of a tribe. I like that? I do like that. I like that. And if you like it too, <laughs> you know it's good for you. Tribe Fitness. Tribe Social Fitness. <laughs> now, Tribe Social Fitness, it opens up November 21st and you've got a special deal. Yeah, from October the 1st, we have all of our foundation memberships on offer. So basically, we're giving them away. We really want people to come in and get involved early on. So all you have to do is go to our website, tribesocialfitness.com, to find out all the details. It's a pretty good deal. Great deal. Can I get on that deal? Mate, you're in. <laughs> we can put the gun show down there at Tribe Social Fitness if you like. Just one more question. Where were you going to hang 
in Tribe Social Fitness, my photo, or I can give you an Origin jersey. I can give you eight Origin jerseys. Eight Origin jerseys. I can, jerseys. I can give you sixteen. Can you give test me the one where you, where you sat on the bench for seventy minutes as well? <laughs> where Phil Gould just hey put you on the last ten minutes when you were down by twenty. <laughs> <laughs> now the thing is, if I give you an Origin jersey, yeah, yeah, yeah. it will be from the front because most of the games I played. I had a reserve number on the back, so you would never know that. <laughs> I will put it right there at reception for all to see. No drama at all. Good stuff. We also included that. You could put a little picture when I was runner-up. It's embarrassing to say, Cleo Batcher of the Year, but <laughs> yes, I was runner-up. So we can do that. Mate, I, right. what, can I beat that? I think I could possibly beat that. And you guys tell me if this beats that. I played one first grade game. How many did you play? 2.32, I think, just off the top of my head. Yeah. Did you ever make the NRL ad for the season opener? Yes, I did. Did you? <laughs> boom, boom. Oh, I made it anyway. That's my claim to fame. The only problem was, <laughs> it was the one, it was a terrible one. It was a Thomas Keneally one. Yeah, right. And we're covered in mud. And so, they couldn't even tell it was me, but it was me. <laughs> yeah, me, right. It was me. <laughs> well, Kabo, thanks heaps, mate. I've really enjoyed talking to you and... Uh, I've got to say, just from the heart here, is that I've known him for a long time. Um, whatever he says, he lives by. Uh, I love the social aspect of the gym, but more so, I love the fact that they look at you in terms of a holistic view, where they, they look at all areas of your life. They genuinely care. You will get results. Trust me, if you want to change your life, this is the man. Thanks, mate. You're a champion. <laughs>